Okay. There's a presentation going on uh, nearby, one of the other competitions. You can see lines of empty tables on the right as the focus now of attention on this uh, men's symbol singles final. And Volner at the far end of the table in yellow. Serves in. And he's one game to love up and one point to love up in this second game. Now, this is the game that uh, Michael Applegren must win to give himself a psychological chance against a man who he knows has won the major title, the world title. One all it is, good play. Both of these players are so good away from the table that even when they do get forced back, they're still in contention to win the point. That was a speculative uh, shot, a little bit uh, lax and uh, just off the edge of the right-hand corner. Well, Waldner in control. Is it going to go back on? No, it isn't. It's way, way off. A two-all. Powerful play there without too much foot movement here by Voldner. He once he gets into control there, he starts to execute the shot. He's in total control. Whichever player can take control at the table is going to win the point invariably. It's 3 2. And Applegren here has an advantage. He has service too, which will help. High service disguised by that right arm didn't help him. Very shaky first service, Kevin. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what Applegren's tactics are in this uh, this game. I think he's going to try and uh, be a little bit more positive if he can, but it's interesting to note that both these players won't have the advantage of a coach for this uh, particular match because obviously they're both Swedish and they can't use the national coach. Yes, their individual coach is uh, Glenn Us, who we've seen several times accompanying the Swedish side. He will sit back and offer no advice to either man as he coaches them both as individuals as well as as part of the Swedish team. So um, he will want to sit back and let them do battle without his interference. These fellas know their trade. They know each other. They know the situation. They've been to finals before. Both have won major championships and so they're experienced enough. And uh, let's face it, the top sportsmen and women, when they're out there, it is down to them after all. 5-4 oh. then or 4-5 four, I should say with service and the superb shot followed by not such a good shot I think because Waldner is so good at blocking the ball back Applegren does feel he's got to hit the ball a little bit too hard and that's what causes the mistakes A lot of topspin coming from Applegren here. And there was no way uh, that uh, Volner could get to that. He hit it right into the stands. Some indication of the power. Look at this. Watch the, the final one. Look at that high recovery. Look how far back Volner is. And the ball way into the corner. And that's long, I think. Yes, it is. Six all. Top's been coming off that shot from uh, Applegren. And uh, Jan Ovi Volner lost his composure just for the moment. He's uh, lost a little bit of discipline. And that's three in a row. And uh, with a change of service here, Applegren finds himself three points up. Remember, this is the second game of the final, if you've just joined us. Uh, Volner winning the first. This is Volner. 21-15. Uh, so game two, best of five games for the United States title. Applegren there, a little bit annoyed with himself. He knows he can't afford to throw away any points, and that really was a, a bit of an easy mistake. Again, example of him just trying to hit the ball a little bit too hard. He knows Wagner is good at blocking the ball back. I think he's just trying to hit the ball a little bit too hard with his forehand. Nice. 
Oh yes, and Waldner demonstrating real control there. For the young players watching, how soon should you start playing? Well, Waldner started at the age of six, and he now has uh, a contract with a Swedish uh, manufacturer of Nine. table tennis equipment Nine. for the tune of $66,000 a year, so we're told. So, playing sport can bring you some rewards if you get to the very top. You only get to the top through hard work, got to have the skill and ability to start with but uh, it still takes an awful lot of hard work. Appleton in control here for the moment. Such spin on that ball, swerving through the air. Oh. Top spin taking it over the net, marvellous rally. Oh, it's long, it's long. Appleton, 10-9. That well appreciated by the crowd. Appleton always with the advantage here, but uh, Walden has just tried a, a quick snapshot backhand just off the end. <laughs> that was better then. Appleton spinning the ball up, heavy topspin with the backhand. He didn't try to overdo it. He just placed the ball well and made it difficult for Wagner to keep the spin down. So 12-9, 9-12 with service and the world champion behind on points to the European champion but that uh, was a marvellous change of pace and direction uh, extending Appleton to the left and uh, he had no chance at all. being the closer of the two to the table really assuming the superior role there as well he might from that distance he forced Waldner away away from the table these players almost lost in this massive arena but uh, that's more at home to pop concerts and uh, indoor football games transformed for the first time in six years been in Miami for five years, I understand. This uh, US uh, championship brought here to the part of the world which uh, has made uh, advances in the world of table tennis. It's been introduced into the schools now in a big way here. And that signals the approach that the Americans are now making to this sport. They don't have too much of a record in it and uh, they will be attempting to make their mark as it is now an Olympic sport. Long. 14-13 then, Waldner trailing by 14, one. 13. You can see Appleton there, just managed to catch Waldner in between the forehand and the backhand. And it's very difficult there for a shake hands grip player. Points advantage then to the man nearest to us in the blue top. That's uh, Michael Applegren, left-handed European champion. Very, very tight indeed, as one would expect. The bottom line is basically for Applegren, he's not that good at hitting through Waldner. But having said that, I do feel that Waldner's just gone off the boil a little bit. Applegren is the one who's playing the aggressive shots. And although Waldner is good at blocking the ball back, I don't feel it's a winning game. on that service and uh, Yanovi Waldner 
recognized by the majority as being the best server in the world. Looking to get to the advantage from that service, he's forced his opponent away and just tried the little drop shot over the net. Didn't work. He may well have taken his eye off the ball for a moment as uh, Appelgren came in so quickly. Oh. Well, that was Appelgren in perfect control. He's one game to love down, but he's 19-14 up now. Or 14-19, I should say. First point score of that of the server. 15-19. Appelgren played well though to attack in that way and to get attacked back well the best kind of defense is attack and well there's a good example of it look at this look at this for a return put most mere mortals back on their back feet but uh, but uh, Voldner just looked at it and attacked it with such devastating topspin that uh, Appelgren had no chance yeah, Waldner, to some extent, is a nightmare to try and uh, plan an attack against because you just don't know what he's going to come out with next. And he's now got uh, Appelgren uh, trying to capture the edge of the table to escape his uh, forehand uh, top spin smash and uh, or drive, and it's causing him just to miss occasionally. at this Appelgren only by one now and Jan Ove Voldner is really putting up a battle here wants to capture this he won the first game 21-15 and he really is uh, looking to dominate oh and that's off the top corner and he's uh, pulled it back 19 points each in this uh, second game how far he got uh, Appelgren out of uh, position and this is a superb phase of play now by Volner and he's hit the net well just as I was saying what a superb phase it was he lost that from superb uh, cross court top spin drives and uh, well the end result is now Voldner is one point down and it's game point to Appelgren Oh, it's 20 all, it's got to go to 22. Two clear points required. And a grimace on the face of uh, Appelgren, a smile from one or two quarters in this uh, arena. And uh, the smiles coming perhaps from uh, Voldner supporters. Now, who can take the advantage here? And it's uh, Appelgren, 21-20. Appelgren with the service then at 21-20. It's off! 22-20. And Appelgren pulls it back. And it's one game all. And my goodness.